I first started cheerleading because I wanted to learn how to tumble. And as I grew on like all these skills and stuff like that, my friend um, was like, hey, you should try cheerleading, see how you like it. And I came to one of those open practices and I just fell in love with it. Malik Sumano, a junior at Dominion High School in Sterling, Virginia, is breaking gender barriers and smashing stereotypes about what it means to be a high school cheerleader. Now, every male cheerleader goes through some sort of stereotype, so um, he, around here I was kind of surprised that I didn't get as much, you know, backlash. Once or twice they'd probably call me gay or they'd probably be like, oh he's so femboy, but really that's not how it is on the competition floor. Because cheers are primarily female sport so a lot of guys just don't try out for it or just aren't athletic and don't want to be a cheerleader because it's kind of awkward and not you know stereotype for males. Being the only male on the team it doesn't make me insecure about my spot or anything like that but it just makes the whole high school environment different. There's always like some sort of doubt in my mind I mean I'm human but I really try to block it out. Sumano caught on to the sport very quickly, making varsity his first year on the team. Um, I didn't have any tumbling skills until April. I first learned how to do a round off. Actually seeing how much I've accomplished so far in like less than half a year, it's, I feel like I can do so much more in the future. For Sumano, cheer is more than just a high school sport. It's a window into his future. I do see a future in cheerleading more than just high school, probably all-star. Um, I feel like he's gotten the girls I know, excited about the season. The dynamic of the team has definitely increased, I feel like, in a positive way. Cheerleading was actually first started by boys. And that, you know, being a cheerleader as a male, it's, it's one of the best experiences as a sport, really. It feels like a sport that I would never give up. Diane Page has also been breaking gender stereotypes for four years now in one of the most historically male sports wrestling. I decided to try out for wrestling because both of my brothers wrestled and my dad coached and I always saw the family aspect in it and I always wanted to be a part of that. Me being the first four-year female wrestler has taken some adapting on on all sides via you know athletic directors and trainers and a lot has had to like be changed and accommodated for me um, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with a little bit of change. <laughs> She's a wrestler. She, we treat her like everybody else. She wrestles the boys, there's no difference. As a female wrestler, stereotypes are readily given to Paige. I think people have stereotypes for female wrestlers that they just wrestle for attention or they're not fully committed to the sport. And obviously I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> when I first started wrestling, I was definitely perceived as a person who, you know, wouldn't make it past the first week. I didn't know if this was a sport for me. I didn't know if I had what it takes. Um, but my, my coaches and my parents would not let me give up that easily. Well, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. You know, if you put in the work, you'll be successful. And we always say that to be the best, you gotta work harder than everybody else. Paige has become a role model at Dominion as other females have stepped up to the mat and joined the wrestling team. I do think it's amazing that there's been more, more female wrestlers and I do think that there needs to be more because, because like I said, I feel like it is time that more women come forward and, and step out of the box and say this might be all male dominated, but I'm still going to do it anyways.